E4Fuel is a EU-funded project that decided to see CO2 not as a problem but as a resource. Using bacteria, they want to convert CO2 into fuel. The first step is the production of formic acid, a chemical procedure that is done by electrolysis. The main components that we need is CO2, electricity and water. The e fuel team in Stuttgart aims at optimizing the electrolysis device, particularly its most important component. First is the optimization on the cathode electrode. The cathode is the place in the electrolytic cell where water and CO2 and electric currents meet. It is here where the formic acid is spilled. This electrode that we're producing is very porous and has a um, high surface area. The more pores, the more surface, the more formic acid is produced. But there is a catch. The materials that we make this electrode out of, the carbon and the Teflon powder, are very hydrophobic. Means water is repelled and cannot get into the pores. No water, no electrolysis, unless... We apply a current and the surface of the electrode gets charged. Technically, we're speaking of electrovetting. And what happens then is that we have a capillary effect where the electrolyte is dragged inside the electrode. The electrode can be produced in the lab by mixing carbon and Teflon powders precisely together, pressing and baking them. After assembling the device, electrolysis can start. Transforming water into formic acid would be invisible. To see whether formic acid is produced or not, we added an indicator for acidity that made the electrolysis not only useful but also colorful. The color change then shows that the CO2 is really converted into our wanted product, formic acid. So this is the first proof of concept of a smaller lab scale. Of course, there are plenty of additional challenges that will come when we try to create a larger electrode, a larger electrolyzer, but right now we are on a good way.